Jason, welcome back to Simburbia Story. This is week six. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Yay. Uh, <laughs> this week, we have Falm filling in for Hawk Miner. So we have Fire Kicker Falm with us. Don't be confused. Yay! At least I won't get their voices confused with CFP. <laughs> <laughs> Who is no comment. missing again? <laughs> Where are you? Banker. Let's take a quick look at the neighborhood renovations this week. We've got the well, or what used to be the well is now a f fountain. Yep. With a pretty butterfly. Nice idea. Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, Kaylin and Gumsai did a number on this pool. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just don't know which number. Oh. <laughs> as long as you don't do number two in the pool. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doesn't go way up. Doesn't go way up. Yes. And these mm. are little changing cabanas. Yep. Ooh, poke. Oh, cute. What is uh what is this plot? Let's take a look. Placing the oil. The West Side yeah. Weather Station. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's a thermometer on the wall. <laughs> okay. And then apparently somebody built a small air airplane runway. Mm -hmm. Hangar and seaplane. Yeah, this was supposed to be the gold monkey yeah. plane, but I didn't have the specs, so this is this is based on a screen a couple screenshots. It makes that other runway and airport. Yeah, would you could guess that that's what it was? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh gosh, they think that's a bus station over there. They built an <laughs> airport between the city and the airport. <laughs> <laughs> when they started working on it we actually said it's probably an airport over there <laughs> or like whoops <laughs> well it was like well that's okay there could be more than one uh more than one runway right okay so the next thing i was i thought we'd go take a look at the results of the build competition so this week we actually had four teams of two and we divided up randomly the remaining merchant spots uh, so we could start with this one right here. Yes. Uh, this was the general store. And remind me which team worked on this uh, plot. Uh, it was Hawk and I, I believe. Okay, so yes. CFG. You believe? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> CFG and uh, Falm. Why don't you walk me through? <laughs> <laughs> Just thrown right. in there, Falm. <laughs> Well, wow, this is also my first time seeing this building. Um, oh. but welcome to everywhere, general wares. We sell general Anywhere store? can be found here, generally. You, you sell me here? What? Yes. So if yeah. anybody wants to buy Cavolta, you can. And it looks like we've got some really rare items uh, stocked, such as oh. ice skates, flippers, oh. and uh, and a bunch of empty barrels. <laughs> You can buy your air here. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, the fact that I do know. I like the sign that says employee only, so only one person. <laughs> one, employee. <laughs> one employee at a time. Otherwise, it gets crowded down there. This is the finance department of the general store. This is where they crunch the numbers to uh, figure out how many taxes they owe Shady Steve. But this is a fully functional 8 bit adder. So you can enter in two numbers using the levers on this side. It's like if I enter and you enter them in binary, so I can enter a two and a four. That makes the number six. And then let's say for the second number, I enter in a four and an eight or 12. Then, and I hope it's correct. It will <laughs> 16 come out as 18. Plus two. Oh. So six plus 12 equals 18. Yeah. And it shows up as 16 plus 2. 
Yes, and it also it's it prints binary. out the result in binary. Yeah. Mm. Yep, and it can uh, you can use it to uh, crunch your numbers. So if you have any numbers you need to crunch, this is Mysteryville's first calculator. Go over to the what well, used to be the stables. Uh, so who built this one? Me instead, instead of. Okay, and what do we have here? So this is the Compstedo Flyer Travel Agency. Oh, okay, a travel agency, nice. So we took the idea of the stables and it said the point of having the horses was so you could get around. And we created uh, the simple station where uh, customers and residents can come in and find good places to visit. As well as get their passport photo taken. Oh, this is cute. I love the, uh, the like, um, the pilot's wings. With the pilot yeah. wings, they made out of lots and lots of little mini blocks. And okay. then over here by the door, there's some brochures. Yes. That, yeah, uh, those really cool. Those, those are nice. They're really cute. Yeah, those caught my eye right I walked in. Those Discover cool. your next vacation in Mysteryville. Very nice. Uh, let's go across the street then to what was the blacksmith. And remind me who built this one. Uh, this was me and Felina. I like the overall like shape. It's very boxy. So this is the <laughs> you smelt it, you dealt it, uh, smeltery <laughs> and gaming establishment. <laughs> oh. So we, if we come here on the first floor, we've got um, our standard forage um, and the catalog. And we integrated in our colored blocks. Oh. Okay. Um, and, and then next to that, we've got the smeltery uh, with some storage just in, a, in an ender chest. So you can uh, stash away your valuable ingots when you're done. Cool. Um, and this whole floor is all open air design so that there's no uh, buildup of smoke and heat. And then if we go up to the second floor, uh, this is the gaming establishment. Uh, inside, we've got uh, a couple of card tables here and we've got a card game going on. Uh, Mr. Bun Bun's here is uh, not, doing too, so, not doing too well. He lost his shirt. Step right up, someone step right up. Play the high-low game. Oh, oh, you want me to play, okay. <laughs> Either way, yeah. So, so okay. the way this works is uh, you press the button and I'll get a number. If the number is a one, two, or three, you lose. And if the number is a four, five, or six, you win. Okay. So you you ready? Press that button. Secret is it's oh, all. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> Bad luck. <laughs> would, you, would you like to double down? Uh, sure, because I feel really lucky. Press the button. Four, you win! Yay! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. It's not rigged. Wow, I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. What do I win? Oh, did it? Oh, the dispenser's empty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Give some chips. We you didn't. You didn't place a bet. That's why. We forgot to load the dispenser. Oops. Aww. Aww. Ding, 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 ding. You win. Uh, we have one more, which was the old tailor shop, kind of stuck up a bill above an abandoned building. <clears throat> and who created this one? That would be me and Kavota. Oh, this is a tall one. You got a bunch of stuff going on up there. What do we have here? So we transformed this into Tall Tailors Tailored Trailers and a free trial. <laughs> um, essentially, it's a trailer renting place We and customization, like so we can customize and rent out trailers. Oh my god. Uh, various trailers range from boats to minecarts to llamas to. Uh, Horses to gliders, vehicles to, to <laughs> kites to balloons. 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. And you can we can customize them as you need with carpets, etc. Different kinds of mine carts, etc. And where it's shady. <laughs> all the different places. Yeah. So it's got so, license plates. So I bet Steve will want to shop here for sure. So this, yeah, this is actually a, a rival of uh, Shady Steve's trailers. Oh. Uh, <sighs> that's a hang glider trailer. Oh, yep. that's cool. <laughs> uh, and if we want to go one at a time up the ladders, um, we can Never go answer. look at the <laughs> balloon. Just be careful not to put Mini Ruby off the edge. And <laughs> let me just verify that no one's messed with the equipment here. Okay, yes, I believe it's correct. So right now... Oh. Poor box. <laughs> I said one at a time up the ladder. I, I will but... see you in court, sir. That is a danger. <laughs> <laughs> there was... Lack of safety <laughs> equipment. There was fair warning. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah so uh right now we have uh the the burner is going keeping the balloon afloat uh if we wanted to land uh we would set this uh onto uh, coolant mode and uh, if everyone wants to hold on because we're gonna drop down a bit here probably uh we're gonna flood the uh, burner put it out and now we're gonna go down whoa and uh, before we go down too far, uh, we're just going to turn this back on the fuel mode and uh, light the burner again so we can go back up. Yeah. Okay. It is, again, another another tight another tight race. I uh, Obviously, every one of these properties has uh, either a very strong functional component or a very strong build component or both. Uh, so good job, everyone. I know it was a long week, and uh, we are getting pretty full up on the uh, city here. Uh, I think at the end of the day, I will have to give uh, the most points, and uh, that will go. That'll end up going to this tall Taylor's trailers, tall Taylor's Taylor trailers. <laughs> building <laughs> i think the theme the theme is the most unique uh i actually really like all four of the themes you guys went above and beyond in making it something that it wasn't already which is so awesome that's what makes this tough but i think this one's funny uh it it also like leverages some of the overarching themes of shady steve's trailers of course looks nice and then the functionality of the blue and i never would have expected uh, anything like that. The other ones obviously had a really cool calculator, really cool travel agency, really cool uh, game up top that is not rigged at all. But uh, <laughs> this one just just edged out a little bit. We have two shulker boxes this time, and both of the titles are starting off as merchant. First name I have, and I just randomized these a little bit, is Stedofire. Felina, Kovolta, so it's a three-way tie so far. Mistress Kaylin. Did we all vote for ourselves? <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't vote for myself. I didn't no. know we could do that. I have a vote for Boxy Boy. <laughs> so, so far it's a five-way tie. I have a vote for Compsi. <laughs> and then I have a tie-breaking vote for Box. And my last vote is also a tie-breaking vote for Steto Fire. Oh! Steto and Box will receive the merchant packs. And where is... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fake box there. <laughs> Don't trust him. Okay. Oh, thanks. Steto. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Thanks. CFG, no. come on. <laughs> okay. All right. So it looks like we've got a player-built housing development that I had nothing to do with over here. 
called Mysteryville Junior, the future home <laughs> of the Twin Pines Mall. And so far, one of the pines has not been destroyed. That's good. Uh, we have some <laughs> Steve Jr. statue. And uh, somebody's been selling plots. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and people are buying them and building on them. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Steve also hired a contractor to get to work on uh, something for this week's challenge, which uh, once you're all ready, we'll head this way. Looks like somebody built a path off in this direction. We'll just follow this path. <laughs> and see what SS Contractor was working on this week. Oh, hello. <laughs> We've got straddlers back here. <laughs> wow, that's a big easy. build. <laughs> um, he was that's very, why. He was that's where busy. SS contractor got all as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we can head in. And everybody, everybody. The challenge this week is a sixty-minute map. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Now, go ahead and if you press the button on the clock up there, whoever's closest, so like press it and then step back, you will receive a trident. And once everybody has a strider, you can join me in the center of the arena. What we're going to do is we're going to basically have uh, a number of different waves of targets appearing. And very simply, whoever kills the most targets uh, wins. Trident Striders Arena. Just tried it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, wave one starts off pretty straightforward. I don't know what they look like. Uh, I was saying. I think I see them. Oh. Yeah. My there we go. My trident didn't come back. And as you can see, the number of targets that you've killed is incrementing every time you kill one. On the right. So we'll move on to wave two. All right, you guys are making this look really easy. <laughs> Why is everyone beating me up? <laughs> Bonk. Ah. I'm sorry, oh, there's a no. target on you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Ah. Uh. Uh. Whoa. Uh oh. I'm All gonna down. die. <laughs> Oops, sorry people, I just hit you. <laughs> yep. Get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I have no control over my strider right now. Man, those ones are hard to hit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're little bats flying around. Yeah, it's gonna get incrementally interesting. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! No! Phantom, why did I can't hit these anything? bats at all? You gotta make sure you're standing on the other side of them so someone's not shooting you. I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh oh. You keep going to the lobby and just dying. Yeah, killing the. Uh, so you can either kill the target or you could kill the target's mount. Either one will count oh. for your score. If the target falls in the lava and dies on its own, obviously you won't get credit for it. But not all of them die in the lava. Oh no! Ah, uh, I am on fire. Blaze. Yep. Confusion. It's between you and me. Careful. Yep. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, that's a very large target. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, Steedo. There we go. We're in the. Hey, I hit the zombie there the and it didn't round. give it to me. Come on, try it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, wait. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh. Well. Oh. You're gonna hold my food. Don't shoot me while you're down below. Staring <laughs> above me. Uh... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and once all of these are gone, we will conclude. Ow! What? There's no more striders. All my levels. Ow. These bats are so hard to hit. Yeah, they're <laughs> really hard to hit. <laughs> hey. Rude. Got it. Alright, I figured out the trick for the bat. <laughs> There's a trick? Yeah. <laughs> Which is, uh... Well, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> hey, Lena. There we go. Just a couple of targets left. No. It's way, way up there. Just one target left? Hey, Lena's. Yeah. Oh, Kaylin's going after it. <laughs> and it ducks to the left. And it ducks to the right. We have been stuck in Oh, up there we go. Alright, we can gather up at the center. So it looks like CFG is the winner. Uh, CFG, here is your uh, reward. Does anyone want to put on a CFG mask before I give this to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, so that is the Strider Master uh, title if you want it. Or I think I'll stick with Banker. Okay. So while, while we're here... Uh, we should deal with the we should deal with the um, uh, question of whether or not the plots in the Nether are should be legitimized. So I'll go ahead and just give everybody <laughs> no. a book, <laughs> <laughs> and you simply simply vote yes if you think that those plots should be legit, or no if you think that they should not. Here are the results of the vote for whether or not. The nether plots should be legitimized as is. I have one vote for no. One vote for yes, so we're tied. I have a vote for no siree. <laughs> I have a vote for yes, so we're still tied. I have a vote for no fake plots. And I have a vote for yes, 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 etc. <laughs> That's someone who bought like six plots, I'm sure. So, yep. <laughs> so far we're tied. I have not legitimate, which I'll take as a no. And I have a final vote for no. Oh, oh, oh. So, <laughs> so those those plots will not count as uh, for adjacency or population this week. Now, <laughs> uh, we do have new citizens moving into your existing plots. So we can go ahead and take care of that. So, Felina, if you want to go ahead and start. Let's see who moves into your neighborhoods uh, this week. Lost <laughs> uh, or Oh, Sarge. Sarge, okay. One of the Mojang developers. Uh, oh. Kavolta. Professor Snape. Prof Snape, one of the first Minecraft map makers. Uh, Compsi. Moesh. Moesh, yay. Uh, Kaylin and CFG, I'll award you in advance if you already have a hat on. <laughs> Eric. Eric Fullerton. Oh, member of the Shaft podcast. Box. Nice. 
Avondale. <gasps> Avondale. Oh. His head changed again. He changes his head quite a lot. Did he change his Brent Copeland. So from the shaft. Fom, do you want to grab one for Hawk? Symmetry. Okay. And CFG, you have a B on your head, just FYI. Here we go. <laughs> that sounds really dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I have Grum. Awesome. All right. We are back at the arrival station to the city. Uh, as you know, there is another train station to the northeast on the other side of the city as well. They are like 90% identical uh, in terms of what blocks are here. Obviously, the positions are different, so the adjacency is different. So as some uh, speculation was had during the week, we are going to divide up into two teams of four and revitalize the train stations this week. And so that will be the build challenge. Uh, they're both train stations, obviously. Uh, the other idea is that we should probably like repair the path back to the other neighborhood in some way and we should run a line from the other train station all the way to the eastbound train tunnel you've all been given some bones so in oh, order so now we have a bone to pick as in, well huh in order to I have uh, a bone to pick with you little human earn the train <laughs> station i'm gonna i'm gonna fly off a bit and i'm gonna put down some animals that you can train or tame <laughs> and whoever trains the most of these animals that I put down will or whichever uh, we'll do team based score will get to choose which train station should we and stay yeah, here or or we, yeah you should stay, stay there stay here, stay here. Huh? no cheating everyone come on yeah. <laughs> alright on your marks get set go so you're gonna rush around try to train the trainees Lead them back here and have them sit up on this uh, south, or sorry, north east platform. Riveting. Oh. Data fire is going. Boy, They're just called train. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you know, conceivably making a long train. Uh, there. Oh, <laughs> darn. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my dog. Excuse me. <laughs> Doesn't help me. This one's mine. <laughs> There's a green dog over here. Yeah, where is that? that? Um, Confusion. <laughs> by the travel agency. Oh uh, yeah. I think I can see. I could see the final results. So it, it looks. It looks like the team of MVPs is eight. And the coalition has three, four, five. Wait, more. Wait, between two of us. <laughs> Fifteen. So team team coalition, you you have the honor of choosing which train station you're going to um, renovate this week for part of the build contest. Man, even cheating, I could, we couldn't have won. I uh, will have this one. Yes. Okay. All right. So Felina's team is the one near her place. Kaylin's team has the one near her place. Works out very simply. And that is it for this week. So there's the build contest. Pretty Sick. simple. And then an optional thing is if you run a rail line to the eastbound tunnel and, and a different one back towards the neighborhood. Those... Why do my dogs always misbehave? Because he's still sitting here. Does this rail already go that far? Thank you all so no. much for, for playing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the new tridents, and we'll see you next time. I'm more excited about that. Uh, Bye. 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 I'm heading towards the center. Awesome. I'm on fire. Door. 2015? Are you serious? No, it hasn't been five years, has it? Since what? Since the human maps? Five, four or five years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you thrust Jack again?
Just lean just in click it and drag it out of your uh, inventory. Or shift Q. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> what else? Oh, there's some gold boots in here. Yeah, the gold boots, yeah. Well played. Well played. <laughs> <laughs>